Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Gracia. I'm a makeup artist located in Orange County, LA area, and I'm a single mommy to a beautiful little boy named Carter who's my entire world. For those of you who've been following me a long time, you know that YouTube's something that I've wanted to do for so long. I have just always been scared and nervous. Now that we are quarantined and safe at home, I really have no more excuses. This is my one chance to really push myself and just go all in. Let's see where it goes and thank you for encouraging me. I hope you guys enjoy the little bits and pieces that I share of my life, style, makeup, everything that I love and I hope you guys really enjoy it. So thank you for pushing me and encouraging me. I hope you guys love what I do and let me know what you guys wanna see. Okay, so for my first YouTube tutorial, I wanted to go ahead and do something that's been highly requested for a couple of years, and it is how I style my hair, how I get these soft waves. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. If you have short hair, you can do the same technique using a thinner barrel or a smaller curling iron. So go ahead and keep watching. This is my hair completely blow dried. No product in it just yet. I did blow dry it last night, so I'm gonna jump right in with some dry shampoo and just spray the root of my hair because you know sometimes at night we get a little bit of oil or build up in here and just kind of buff that in <laughs> and i'm only applying that at the root the curling iron that i use is the baby bliss pro um one and one fourth this is what it looks like this runs about um, $30, $40, depending on where you get it, but it's my go-to for the most part. I am gonna go ahead and spray my hair with some heat protectant. This is from Oribe. It's a soft lacquer. I don't like to apply too much product because then the hair doesn't feel light and soft, in my opinion, and my hair normally doesn't do well with too much product in it. So I'm gonna start off with this piece in here. This one's gonna be curled outward and I loosen the barrel with my thumb as I go. I leave the ends straight, so I'm gonna just pull it right through. This next piece is gonna be curled inward, so towards your face. Run the barrel through one time, up top, and then loosen as we go with the thumb. away from the face. So both sides are curled. Now we're gonna go into this next section. So normally the pieces that are closest to my face, I like to do outwards. And I don't like them to be very, very curled, so I don't leave the heat on very long. And then the next piece, this, which is the second piece, I will do towards my face. And it usually this um, allows the hair to have more texture in it. And it starts to come together. Now there's sometimes, like I have extensions in my hair, so there's times when my baby hairs, my natural shorter hairs, especially down here, will stick out a little bit with the straightener. I will go ahead and run it through just to flatten them out so that the ends aren't too crazy and wild and sticking out where they're not supposed to be. So this just helps them blend a little bit more. 
And then also you can do that with pieces around your face. If you have baby hairs that tend to curl a little extra and also like up here, because I don't like this to have a bend. So it's always important for me to straighten those out. pull it forward because sometimes if there's a piece that I'm not really digging or I don't like how it looks I will go in and adjust it a little bit because I want it to have a really natural pretty blend especially with extensions you don't want it to have a lot of separation of the curls So these pieces around the face, I don't hold the heat in for too long. I literally just put like a bend in it and run it through because I want it to look like feathered but not overly curled, if that makes sense. And I just piece, grab little pieces at a time because I don't want them to look overdone. it through really quickly just like a barely there bend And I'm just going to section off really small and run it through, just like a barely there bend. I definitely don't hold the heat in these pieces too long because they curl so quickly. Okay, I'm going to fluff through it, make sure there's no pieces that I'm missing. straighten out my line up here okay my straighteners turned on this is basically the end result I'm gonna just do some final touches and spray downs and this is pretty much it so that's it for curling now I'm gonna go in with the straightener and straighten out a few pieces that I feel like are overly curled just in like the middle parts and also if you want to do a little bit on, on the ends you can I don't like the hair to be too too curled so I'm just gonna fluff it through a little bit soften up these curls I'm gonna add a little bit of Orbe texture spray on the middle parts of my hair. Okay, you guys, that's it. This is my go-to hairstyle. This is it. This will hold like two, three days. I normally will just touch up around the face if I need to, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. And also too, before, really quickly before we end, if you like to add a little bit of oil, I will do it just on my ends. This is a jouet, and I will just add like a pump on my hands. And you could just add some to your ends if you feel like you need to, if they're looking a little dry. Just around the face. I don't normally add it everywhere else because I'd like to go a couple days without washing my hair. So I try and avoid applying more oil than I need to. I hope you guys learned a few new things and enjoyed my first how-to video or tutorial. Whoa! <laughs> Give me a kiss.